Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some Naya slivers, and we've got a, a keepable hand, but an interesting one. Let's uh, see what happens here with this. I'd like to get some good card draws going. All right, ours is mine, so we're playing Tron. All right. Well, uh, we draw another gem high. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, then, you know what I think we're going to do? Hmm. Just want to get damage in early. Uh, so I'm tempted just to play this plated and not worry about the gem hide yet. Eh. We'll uh we'll get our we'll get our mana right for a turn, and then we'll get it going. Hopefully we'll draw into a lord or something. That'd be nice. There's this tower, so they're getting it. Expedition. All right, so Tron's going to be online for them right soon. There's a Viverlin. All right, so that's nice. We can play out these things. Crack Expedition. Get their third piece. And now they're cranking. Another Chromatic Sphere. Into... A crack into ancient stirrings into Urza's tower. All right, and it begins. Okay, well, we're not on the best clock here whatsoever, so we're just gonna play a gem hide, start swinging in for poisonous. That's our best clock right now, uh, so we're just gonna try to do it. Play out our other stuff as we can, but. Uh, it's looking pretty bleak already. Self-assembler. All right. So they're just going to drop a bunch of these. Yep, there's the other one. It's time for blade back, I suppose. Yeah, we'll just do this. And we will drop another one of these. And then we will go ahead and... Drop one of these. Start getting ready to pop them each turn. Sure, sure. Oh, we can't do it yet, though. Can't do it yet. We gotta go. We gotta go empty-handed first. Forgot about that. Ah, uh, yeah, this isn't great. So self-assembler into self-assembler. So I got all four self-assemblers out. This is the kind of Tron I want to make. This is the Tron I like. In fact, this is like pretty much my build. Full playset of self-assemblers. Some of the other big boys, Eldrazi big boys, playing with ancient stirrings. You name it. No attack, though. Okay. Alright, so let's winding way first off here. Let's go creature. We had a predatory. That's not the best in the world. But we will throw it down. I think we'll go... Hmm. Yeah, let's go lead the stampede as well. Well, we'll take what we can get. And we'll put down... Cancel. Put down... One of these flankers, I suppose. Pass the turn. Need more lords to really combat this thing. They cranking cards, though. Yep. Mono Green Tron. I think I'm playing this kind of wonky, so... Definitely should have, like... Uh, what are you returning? Okay. Explore. Play an additional land. Alright, sure, sure. Attacking in yet? No attacks yet. Interesting choices. Just gonna play out our hand. We will, uh... Put down this one. 
Yeah, still can attack in, but now we can go Hellbent. So now we'll start doing that. Hellbent for a lot. Explore, play another land. Draw a card. So they are looking for some stuff. Nothing. Okay. Time to ping. There we go. Oh my gosh, there's so much mana. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's crazy. Alright, so we got them on a clock. They should have been attacking in. I don't know why they didn't. That's nice. Now we got a bunch of five sixes with first strike. Now we can attack in for sure. See if they got an answer to this. Playing with moments piece? Nope. We will go to game two. All right, cool. Uh, so fireballs, decent. Uh, let's see here. What's the other thing we like? Oh yeah, flaring pain. Duh. I don't know. We gonna cut one fireball. Cut, uh, maybe just one blade back. Hunter isn't that useful in this matchup. Striking actually did come in handy for us last time, but I don't think it's super necessary. So we could cut one of those. Um, yeah, we can cut that. We'll just run it like this. Two flaring planes, one fireball. Sure. Well, we managed to come back from that. That's nice. I don't know why they weren't attacking in. They definitely could have got some damage on us. Uh, this is a very keepable hand. Need to get our third land so we can start leading the stampede, but this is perfectly reasonable. Okay, we got stuff we can do for a few turns, though. We're going to have a clock. But they already have Tron. Oof, that is rough. That is rough. All right. So let's get the Lord down. Start putting on the clock early. All right, what are you going to drop? Chromatic star into what? Going for the green. Explore. All right. I like that addition of explore. I like that card. I'm going to have to keep that in mind for my own build. Predic Prism. It moves fast. It moves really fast. I like that. Expedition map. Okay, well, they're not, they're doing a whole lot of nothing right now, but they're setting up for some big turns, I would say. Well, this is good. We can establish a clock and start getting poisonous as well. Works for me. Then we can gem hide into like lead the stampede next turn if we need to. Let's see if they brought it brought in any like fog against us. Use this flaring pain. All right, what do you do? Ever is put into the graveyard to gain five life. Cool little card. Let's check out that out. Oh yeah, that's cool. Cool looking card. Oh, whenever an artifact is put into the graveyard. Okay, I see you. All right, so that's a massive life gain. Holy crap. That's cool. Dang, so they can just crack, crack, and just gain five life. Holy cow. That's definitely a sideboard card for them. Wow. Cool combo. I like that a lot. Okay, dang. <laughs> I get it, man. I get it. <laughs> oh, but we got another Viverlint. How interesting. Ugh. It's a little wonky, though. I guess we'll take a turn to lead the Stampede. Uh, so let's do that. Alright, a Sinew and another Viverlint. So we can go ham on the Poisonous next turn. Uh, so I think we're just going to set up for that. Because we can kill him with the Poisonous next turn if... Uh, if we do this right. So we'll pass. You can gain a bunch of life. We're just going to focus on the poisonous now. 
And if they only have like one blocker up, they're screwed. If they put down a couple assembly workers, they might be able to survive. But we're going to have triple poisonous next turn. So I'm feeling pretty good about this. But that is an awesome combo. I love that. They're at 40 life pretty much. <laughs> they can crack two more and go to like 50 life. That's so cool. Oh man, I'm taking notes right now, guys. I'm taking major notes. All right, so let's go ahead and start with you. Then we'll start with you. And then we'll just swing. And we'll kill you with poisonous. Triple poisonous, please. Let's see if they got anything to finish them off from this. Nope, doesn't look like they do. And there you go. That's how you kill Tron when they have 50 life. <laughs> oh, nice. Very nice. Well, that was a good matchup. I like that. I love this Tron. Let me just say, if there's any Tron that should be played in Popper, it's Mono Green Tron. I think it's the best one. Uh, they never drew into any of their threats, but dang, you can see how much this can crank off. And I love the addition of this Marauder uh, sideboard card. That is great life gain. Definitely good against us, but not so good against Poisonous. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Leave a like on the video for that, uh, that nice little win. And uh, make sure to comment below if you're enjoying the nice slivers. Make sure to subscribe uh, so we can keep on playing these decks. And I know that everybody's enjoying them still. And we will see you guys in the next video.